You know, when I was a kid, I was looking at the photos of each planet, and when I looked at Saturn, I was like, wow, that's a really cool place to live. I mean, if someday we were talking about living on another planet, it wouldn't be the pale red one, right? Well, guess what? That's exactly the planet we're thinking about living in the future. But the question is, can we really live on Mars someday? And I'm not talking about just visiting there. I'm talking about a long, sustainable life. Well, stick around to find out. Right, so, it seems like everyone's talking about Mars these days. I gotta say, on the surface, going to the Mars is pretty cool, but maybe for about 2 minutes. And I say 2 minutes because that's how long you're gonna survive without a spacesuit. And that's not even due to lack of oxygen, but it's due to the pressure on Mars atmosphere. So yeah, 2 minutes before your organs rupture. And let me tell you something, it ain't gonna be fun. But obviously, we're not gonna go walk on Mars with our slippers. We're gonna go there with as much help as technology allows us. Which begs the question, has any human ever walked on Mars? Well, at the time of making this video, no. No human ever walked on Mars. So far, we've only sent probes to Mars. So yeah, people talk about living on Mars in near future. But let's talk about landing a human first. Right now, as things are at the moment, it will be impossible for humans to live on Mars. But let's face it, Mars was chosen for a reason. It's the only planet on our solar system that has some potential for human life to go on. But before we talk about life on Mars, don't forget to leave a like or comment. It really helps out the YouTube algorithm as a lot of time goes into making these videos. So, let's talk about Mars a little bit. I've done a little bit of research and I found some interesting stuff. So, here's the simple version. It takes at least around 7 months to get there with the current technology. And that's only when Earth and Mars get closest to each other. And when you get there, there's not much oxygen. It's mostly carbon dioxide. Good for planets, bad for people. The radiation is quite high and the pressure is quite different to Earth. The gravity in Mars is around a third of Earth's gravity, which could lead to some serious health complications. There's not much water in there and the soil is quite toxic. And if this is not enough, it's way too cold over there. The average temperature over there is minus 63 degrees Celsius. For the record, our own Earth has an average temperature of 14 degrees. Honestly, that makes Earth quite pleasant. Think about that next time you wear long sleeves on a summer afternoon. You also need to get used to dust storms, which can darken daylight into twilight and can last up to few months. So yeah, not exactly a fun place to live in. But as things are at the moment, that means two things are certain. A we need to wear spacesuits all the time. And B, we need to build an entire infrastructure just to be able to survive, let alone thrive in Mars. And who knows, maybe Mars can be a good place to have a temporary base before finding another new planet for home. I guess I'll leave that to more capable hands like NASA or Elon Musk to figure that out. Maybe science can help us go further than we currently stand on this matter. So, what do you think about today's video? Whether the Mars project succeeds or not, these space adventures helped us to make a giant leap towards science and technology. Plenty of the stuff that we use day to day are invented because of the space missions during the Cold War. I also hope that this video helps us appreciate Earth as our home and make us take more steps into keeping it as sustainable as we can. Even the small stuff like recycling can go a long way. Let me know in the comment section below but be nice to each other and if you have a curious mind that wants to learn stuff, well, Check out the rest of the channel as well.